The transportation landscape in Okaloosa County is changing as a result of the State Road 85-123 flyover project. Construction crews are widening portions of both highways to add travel lanes and constructing a new flyover ramp to seamlessly connect State Road 85 northbound to State Road 123. Project engineer Ed Blackman says there will also be a new and more efficient entrance for the Northwest Florida Regional Airport. Right now what they'll see under construction is mostly the work at the airport uh, exit entrance, the north side of the uh, airport. Recently we just set beams for those two bridges and they're currently placing steel, tying steel, getting ready to place the uh, concrete decks uh, for those to complete those two bridges. When the elevated bridges are complete, State Road 85 through traffic will pass above the new airport entrance. State Road 85 southbound traffic destined for the airport will use a service road and pass beneath the elevated travel lanes. The grade-separated entrance will improve travel flow and safety. Northwest Florida Regional Airport Director Greg Donovan says the project has multiple benefits for the community and the airport. People that visit this area for their very first time, how they get into the airport is vitally important and we could not accomplish that without FDOT and this particular project opens the door for us to have a much more efficient and much more impressive entrance to the airport itself. You make a word at this time at gate B2. It just happens to coincide with the Joint Strike Fighter that is gearing up here at Eglin Air Force Base. So you have international visitors and dignitaries that are coming in associated with this program and they see this type of activity and they love it. They see forward progress and improvements made and that show, it says a lot for our community and for our state. The speed limit through the work zone is reduced to 30 miles per hour and project engineer Ed Blackman is reminding drivers to slow down. Uh, the speed limit is posted at reduced speed limits now for a reason. There's a lot of uh, construction activity going on, a lot of vehicles entering uh, the work zone. So it's very important that the traffic obey all the speed limit signs, all the signs that are uh, within the construction limits. Work on the project is slated for completion later in 2012. For more information, visit the project website. You may also follow the Florida Department of Transportation District 3 on Twitter.